In this video, I'll be explaining anatomy of hamstrings. You see these colorful tapes? These tapes represent hamstrings. So in this video, I will explain its origin, function, and important connection with other part. In first part, it is kind of hard to see from broad view, so I will go to the close view and I explain its origin and insertion. Then I will explain the function of hamstrings, okay? So hamstrings originate from here, ischial tuberosity. This red one is biceps femoris, especially the long head of biceps. This blue one is a semi-membranosis. This black one is semi-tendinosis. These three muscles originate from ischial tuberosity. And I will give you more interesting thing. Especially this red one, biceps femoris, and then semi-tendinosis, the some fibers attach on this one, this beige tape. This beige tape represents sacral tuberous ligament. I will say it again. Biceps femoris and semi-tendinosis attaches on sacral tuberous ligament. This connection is very important, so I will describe later. Basically, hamstrings originate from ischial tuberosity and sacral tuberous ligament. And if I go down, you see this green tape? This green tape is part of biceps femoris. This one is short head of biceps. Red one is long head. Green one is short head of biceps femoris. Then I keep going down, going down, going down. Hamstrings close knee joint. Biceps femoris attaches on head of fibula. Fibula is located on the lateral side of lower leg. Again, biceps femoris inserts on the head of fibula. Blue one is semi-tendinosis. Semi-tendinosis inserts on the uh, tibia. This black one, semi-tendinosis, also attaches on the tibia, and the typical part of tibia, this part, is called pes anserinus. Pes anserinus means goose hood. Very unique part. So semi-tendinosis and semi-membranosis attaches on tibia. Biceps femoris attaches on the head of fibula. So, hamstrings cross hip joint and knee joint. So these guys move hip joint and knee joint. Now I will describe their function one by one. So that was uh, origin and insertion of hamstrings. And I will explain the function of hamstrings. What is main function of hamstring? If you go to gym and you want to train a uh, hamstring, what would you do? The most of people will think knee flexion, right? The bending knee is strong hamstring function, right? Yeah, it is correct. You are right. Hamstrings are very strong knee flexor. That is correct. However, in daily activity, hip movement is more important. Why? Because the one of the function of hamstrings is hip extension. Hip extension. When we walk, when we run, hamstrings work. If you think about it, in daily life, Hip extension is more important compared to knee flexion. Do you use strong knee flexion in daily life or sports? Maybe not, maybe not. Rather knee flexion, hip extension is more important in daily life. So personally, hamstring is more important for hip extension. And if you see if I move hip joint this way, this is extension, you see these tapes kind of slack. That means in reality this is tightening or shortening, which means muscle contraction, right? When, you, when muscle contracts, that means muscle is shortening. That's why as I extend hip joint, tapes slack. 
means contraction of muscle fibers. That means hamstring, bells, hip extension. This is very, very important. And also, when hip joint is fixed, this doesn't move, then if hamstrings moves, pulls, it moves pelvis. It kind of tilt pelvis this way. This is posterior tilt of pelvis. So, hamstrings move pelvis, hip, and knee joint. This is very, very important. And I say hamstrings, especially biceps femoris and semi-tendinosis attach on sacrotubulus ligament. What is so important about sacrotubulus ligament? Sacrotubulus ligament connects ischial tuberosity and sacrum. Then this kind of fascial connection goes all the way up to your head. So if hamstring gets tight, it pulls pelvis this way and this tension can go all the way up to head via sacrotuberous ligament or sacrum your backbone then goes to all the way up to head that's why hamstring is kind of very important uh, terminal for fascial connection especially back of your body so in this video I explained basic anatomy of hamstring its origin, insertion, function, and important connection with other part of the body. So if you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in next video.